We are back to discovering patterns. Discovering patterns. So in this video, we shall show how to discover patterns in, in a particular consumer behavior. And this has to do with the consumption of coffee in our country. Example 1.4, finding patterns and predicting outcomes. The table shows the total coffee consumption in 10,000 bags in the Philippines from 1990 to 2016. So how do you interpret this table? In 2016, our consumption was 30 times 10,000. So that's like 300,000 bags of coffee. In 2010, it was something like 190 or, or almost 200,000 bags of coffee in 2010. Produce the country's yearly projected coffee consumption from 2018 to 2021. So by the way, uh, these are not made up data. I got this from the world statistics. So these are not made up data. I wrote this book in 2018. No one thought that a pandemic would happen. And so practically, the pandemic rendered this data useless. But we will go through this exercise just to show to you how we can use that to make projections in some uh, consumer behavior. In this example, it's about coffee consumption. Why would you want to know about the projected consumption of coffee in the years to come? Well, maybe you are, a, you are an entrepreneur. Maybe you are cultivating a coffee plants and you want to make an investment into your plantation. The stat method or the math method or the math tools that are useful in these kinds of problems is what you call your linear regression. So just to give you a, a brief background, so a linear regression, it is a method to show the association between two variables. In our example, it's going to be the association between the consumption of coffee and the passing of time or the passing of years. So how do you, how do you produce a linear regression? Well, you begin with your data and your data uh, would come as an ordered pair. You can look at them as points. So you will produce a scatter plot. So in our problem about coffee consumption, our data there has something to do with the year and amount of consumption. So that is like an ordered pair, year and consumption, X and Y. So what do we do? We will use Excel. I don't expect your teachers to drill you into computing for the slopes and intercepts to produce the linear regression equation. We shall not do that, okay? We, we will use Excel to help us produce the linear regression. Okay, so this is how you do it. First, you must write your data. I already wrote them here. In the first column, you have the year, okay, 1990, 1995, so on and so forth. The second column contains the quantity of coffee consumed in 10,000 bags. So this one is 70,000 bags were consumed in 1990. So it's 7.1 times 10,000. So in 2016, the amount was something like 30 times 10,000 bags. That is 300,000 bags of coffee were consumed in 2016. Okay, so this is what we shall do first. We will produce a scatter plot. How do you produce this scatter plot? Look at what I will do. I will highlight the cells. And then look at that, insert. And look at that, scatter. Okay, so that's it. That is your scatter plot. And let us change the color. This is what's nice about producing this scatter plot because it shows you the trend. So it is increasing. There is an increasing trend in the consumption of coffee. But at the same time, it is showing to you the clustering. You have a clustering of uh, data here. So you can look at this as one cluster. And this one is another cluster. They must be treated separately because the trend is, is obviously not the same. The increase in coffee consumption here is, very, is almost like flattened. But there is a steep rise in coffee consumption here. So again, in stat, we consider the most relevant data set. Again, we are assuming that 
we have no pandemic, okay? So we are assuming that the pandemic did not happen. So in this case, since there are two clusters of uh, data sets here, and we must choose the most relevant, we must pay attention only to this cluster of data. So I will now remove this chart. I will begin from year 2006. Okay, look at this. So I will only highlight 2006 to 2016. And then as usual, I will produce this cutter plot. This cutter plot shows your data points in your XY plane. And what's so nice about it is you can see right away the trend. It is increasing. So this is what you do with linear regression. You produce a line that will estimate the distribution of these points in your XY plane. How do you do that? Look at what I will do. Okay, chart elements. And look at that trend line. That is the trend line. But you know what? What's good about a linear regression? It's not enough to produce the trend line. If it is a line, it has an equation. So let us produce the, the linear equation. Okay, look at this. We are linear. And then we will produce display equation on chart. So let's do it. So that's it. That's the equation in the chart. Y is equal to 1.9547 times X minus this is your uh, 3910.7. Okay, so this is a, an equation of a line. So this is the slope of the line. And this is your uh, Y-intercept. So Y stands for your projected consumption of coffee. And X would be the year. Okay, so the question was, or the instruction was to produce the projected uh, amount of comic coffee consumption from 2018 to 2021. So you will use this equation to produce your projected consumption. I already did this. So this is year 2018. And I encoded the equation. Okay, I will show you the equation. Look at that. That is your equation. Again, in your subject, Math in the Modern World, I don't expect your teachers to drill you into working out the slope and intercepts. So this will be our projection for coffee consumption for years 2018, 19, 20, and 21. But just like what I've said, this is done just for the sake of showing to you how we can use that. This information is no longer relevant today because of the pandemic.